Traveling to another country also means trying their traditional and national dishes. That's another perfect way of experiencing their culture and flavors. And as a foodie myself, is one of my favorite parts of any trip. That is why in today's episode, we are going to share with you some foods that you cannot miss when visiting Hungary, from street foods, desserts, homemade foods, and much more. But before we start, we would like to invite you to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, you'll not miss any of our weekly videos on our channel. Our first stop in Budapest was a central market hall. We were nearby, so we decided to stop by real quick to try the famous Hungarian street food called langush. Langush is a deep-fried flatbread which can be topped with any topping of your liking. However, if you want to get it as a Hungarian wood, then we suggest you getting it only with sour cream, garlic sauce, and cheese. The combination is quite simple, but trust me, the mixture of these three toppings is insanely good. It was also quite affordable, but you must know that the more toppings you add, the more you are going to pay. Just keep that in mind because they just keep asking you what else you want to add and most of visitors think all toppings are already included in the same price. As you can see from my reaction, I fell in love with Langush, that we even try it in different places during our stay in Budapest. Now we are about to try one of the national dishes of Hungary, and that is goulash. This dish can be also found in many other countries in Europe. My first dish was this stew version with beef meat, veggies and seasoned with paprika, which by the way, Hungary is very famous for its paprika. And my main dish was catfish topped with a delicious sauce mainly made of paprika and other seasonings, and turos chusa, which is another traditional Hungarian food made with noodles or pasta and cheese. However, the presentation of it was a bit different, but the flavor was exactly the same. You have a good variety of goulash to try here, even one with mushrooms. These type of places are a great option where you'll be able to try different meats and sausages. Now we are in one place which is very close to the Budapest Eye and in this restaurant you can pick up as many meats as you want also there are many other sides like salads you can pick up from chicken, from pork and well, we just got a little bit of everything to get a taste of these delicious dishes many of these are traditional Hungarian meats and well, I cannot wait to try all of this so as you can see we, we got some sausages and some chips, chicken, meat and in a salad so let's see how it is yes! In our case, we ordered some of these little pastries. Actually, well, they are not like pastries. They are a, a bit salty and also some of them, they are filled with something else. These ones are very similar to something Turkish that we have, which is called poacha. We're gonna be leaving the, the photo somewhere here. But these ones are called pogacha. And these are the, the Hungarian ver version. And these are really good, really, really good. Also, we got some cheesecake. Well, this is, uh, you can find that everywhere. And this other pastry, it is so hung Hungarian. There is, that one is called Krimesh. Hopefully I got the pronunciation. But also we have tasted something similar in, in Slovenia. So it looks very familiar to me. And I cannot wait to try that one to see how, how it is. So yeah, let's try. Mm -hmm. 
The only thing that I can tell you is that everything was really good. These are a must try when in Budapest. We just got this other pastry, which actually we are not really sure if this is Hungarian because we have also seen it in some other countries like Poland, Czech Republic, and even here in Hungary. I don't know how the name is pronounced, but well, they have flavors, they have just cinnamon, they have chocolate, they have with Nutella, and this time we got the To be honest, these are really good. We know that in, in Prague, especially in, in Czech Republic, they are like so famous and so tasty. But if you are from Hungary, you can let us know in comments below if this is something that it is traditional from, uh, from your country, because I'm really curious about that too. But to be honest, these are not bad. We just paid about 500 florins, which is really affordable. <laughs> this is so big. There you go. Mm. Mm -hmm. We found this restaurant very close to the to the main square and here you will find different Hungarian dishes. In our case we ordered one raspberry soup, which is also they have the cherry soup and these ones are, are famous in, in Hungarian cuisine. This is cold already, but this is a soup and I needed to try. Also we ordered some pork cuts and also goose liver. So we're gonna try them and we're gonna try to eat a little bit of everything and try these delicious dishes. And my mouth is already watering because everything smells so good. So first, let's try the raspberry soup. Yeah. It's so different, it's so good. I really like that. Yep, I really like this one. At first, I thought this was gonna be like as a dessert type thing, but no, actually this is also like a soup. I mean, they have it before the, the main dish. And of course, we also had the beautiful opportunity of spending a day at my friend's family house in another city in Hungary. Her mom cooked for us a few traditional Hungarian dishes, like this soup where you add some type of pasta, broth, veggies like carrot and potato, and also chicken. But the star of the day was tolto et caposta, or cabbage rolls that can be stuffed with a different fillings. These ones had meat, different type of spices, and were just perfect. Also, the dish has sausage, and each one of the ingredients came together so, so well. You can top it up with some sour cream, and now you are ready to enjoy. So these were some of the dishes that we tried during our trip in Hungary. There are many more that we couldn't try, but we hope that we can be back in Hungary anytime soon. If you have any other recommendations for us on Hungarian foods to try, you may comment below. We would love to see more foods. But before we finish with our video, I would like to thank each one of our patrons and YouTube members for giving us that extra support in creating more videos. If you want to become a member and receive exclusive benefits, then we invite you to click the links shared in the description box and pinned comment. For more videos like this every week, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.